All right, I'll be showing you how to up Seiki Cutter with uh, Windows. So, first of all, I'll connect it with the USB cable console machine. Should be the USB one. Uh, switch on the machine. So you get the speed and force, so you can adjust it with left and right for your force. And up and down for your speed. If you want to change the starting position, then you press on leave. Use our left and right to go left and right, and up and down to fit in and fit out. Once you're happy with position, press on origin. Okay, so now we can go to computer. And the first thing to do is to go to device manager. So if you're on Windows 10, just right click on the start button and select device manager. You should be able to see your cutter under ports, common LPT. So we're here, and we can see it's on COM1. If your number is a bit higher, for example like COM10 or COM7, uh, just change that to something lower. You can do that by clicking Properties, Port Settings, Advanced, and select it in here. So COM1 is quite low, so we'll use, be using that. So fire up our cut, create, and we can do just a quick test and then go to file cut plot and confirm so now we'll be greeted with the screen so select uh, Seiki okay and the cutter that we want to use will be sent 20 TMPL, so the top one. Click add, then close. You get this screen right here. So now we need to select COM1. So right there, you can see it. Go on setup. If yours is different or you're not showing the same, the same port number as in device manager. So just make sure that it matches. So, COM1 and COM1. If you're not showing COM1, then you might need to, you know, select COM, change the port number, go to properties, and make sure that this is the setting you're using, and you need to deselect this. After that, press OK, change, cancel. Okay, now we can send a cut, so just by pressing cut plot, you should get this message and when if you press start the cutter will respond okay so again if you're saying for example something like this or something else uh, try to select a one there if you don't see your number um, you know the same as in device manager they need to go to setup and change this to COM1 or COM2 or COM3 but you just need to make sure that it matches the device manager there okay I hope you find this uh, useful and yeah thank you